Guys, this is what they do. They're all like trying to not go to bed. Jersey especially. Leo doesn't mind going to bed. Jersey's having FOMO. See, that's her. She's tired, but she doesn't want to go to bed. Oh, Merlin's not in here. We have a loose one. Hello, my fellow sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and oh my god, I do not have a bird on my shoulder. How weird is that? Blue, do you want to join in this video, or do you want to put yourself to bed, huh? Today, we are going to do the nighttime routine that I promised you because Naora is here, and she is going to film me because I need to get like 25 bowls ready. Yes, Rocky, it's okay. Rocky is very excited about this. What do you think, Rocky? Are you want to go to bed or you just want to go see daddy cooking in the kitchen? Anyway, they're not going to bed right now, but we're getting all their bowls ready and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would show you a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. Ugh. What do you think? You want to go play with Rocky? Are you excited? Yeah. No, or uh, she just, she pretends she wants to come hang with me, but she just wants to hang with Brando. Now, no, or uh, let's talk about your filming last time. Uh oh. Okay. I know, I wasn't zooming. I kind of want to look like this, not like this, no, or uh, okay? But you were I don't think. I don't think this was a good look for me last time. I couldn't zoom out. You have no idea how many times I tried. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that was happening until and I, and I, I saw did, it. And, and I, like, didn't, I didn't want to interrupt your talking. No, 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 stop. <laughs> you didn't want to interrupt my talking to make me look normal, Laura? No, normal. I didn't want to interrupt your talking because you were on a roll. I didn't want to be like, you're out of focus. You're out of frame. <laughs> No, you just wanted to surprise me with the footage. <laughs> no. 100%. Did you guys no. see that video? No. It was actually quite cute, but you know I what you looked like you this. Know what you to do? Oh, please don't do it to me. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what you forgot to do? You, for, you forgot to tell Vinny's story. You got to everybody's story and you forgot to tell Vinny's story. Are you serious? I'm totally serious. What what story? About how you got him. Like you were telling about everybody else's story and you never told Vinny's story. Even what? Vinny has his own video. I didn't tell Did a story about Vinny? If you guys don't know, before we get into that, Vinny, who's very busy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Vinny came to me like, I don't know, eight years ago or something like that. Somebody had been given him because they found him and they couldn't find his home. Yeah. And so he called me and said, do you want a bird? Because I met the guy in a bird store. Yeah. And I brought Vinny home. He didn't even bite me. And the lady was like, careful, he bites. And I was like, really? And then he didn't bite me. So it was pretty amazing. Is that a good story or did I tell it wrong? Okay, so in a nutshell, this is what happened. Me and my sister went into a bird store like a year before. And we were like looking at the birds. And we met this guy. And we were talking about hyacinth macaws and how we want one. And he's like, I know someone that's rehoming one. And I'm like, oh my god. And at that time, I didn't have a lot of birds. So I was like, oh well if the bird needs a home and then like a year later I go into the bird store see a gala cockatoo and I'm like oh my god I want one of these so bad and then like I met another one and that day after I was like wishing for one I got a call from a guy going are you and your sister still bird crazy <laughs> Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, I have a bird for you And so it turned out to be Vinny and they couldn't find Vinny's home They had been searching for a long time then I got Vinny the mom didn't want to give Vinny up But it wasn't really it was just because like she didn't understand him not selling Vinny I guess so then I put Vinny on my shoulder and I like Vinny like kissed me and she's like be careful and I'm like does he bite and she's like no But like I took a moment and found out like yeah, he bit like everybody else like he pretends he wants kisses But not to me. It's just like love at first sight, right Vinny? <laughs> Very nice love <laughs> So what I'm gonna show you is how I do all the water What's going on down there? <laughs> Uh, okay. Before I even do that, the first thing I have to do is literally empty the dishwasher, put the dishes away, because usually we don't have dishes in our sink, but now we do, and I need the sink clean and clear to do this, okay? So, gotta empty the dishwasher. Uh, Merlin, are you gonna help me with that? And I gotta do that. Oh my god, look at all these dishes, and I got 75 birds to put to bed. Oh, that's okay, I could do magic. Ta-da! 
All right guys, so for my birds, we put filtered water, obviously, in their bowls. So the first thing I do, this is kind of my trick to make it easier. I fill the water up with the filtered water, as you can see. So that's basically doing it while I'm washing all the bowls. First of all, Naora's bringing me them all. I love when a friend is here and brings me all the bowls. It's amazing. Now, while this is filling with water, I also fill up my kettle. Ah! Ah! Oh shoot, Merlin's guarding the kitchen. Ball, can you open this kettle? I can't do it and hold the camera. What do you want to Put the filtered water in the kettle. Get George to open the kettle for you. Yup, get an aura to bring all the bowls. Get Merlin to guard all the bowls. He knows his fresh water is coming. That's filling up while this is boiling. And then I'm usually at this point cleaning all the bowls. If I am lucky enough to have someone bring me the bowls, then that's amazing. If not, I have to go get them all myself, bring them all over here, wash them, and I'll show you why filling this thing up is efficient later. So when washing it, this has to happen every day, and also when you see the water dirty with something that the bird might have put in it, or paper, or whatever they do, if you don't wash a bowl, even though people think, oh, it's water, it won't get dirty, or if it looks clean, but you have to, you don't, there'll be like a slime that kind of grows on it, it's really important. So I use a little bit of Soap, go right through it, make sure all of the soap is gone. Usually Monty's on my shoulder when this is happening, but today Brando's on my shoulder. Usually Cody's around and Jersey's around. Oh yeah, and Nellie's around. Now Aura, take a shot of them over there. All of them are waiting. Jersey loves her water and so does Nellie Monty. So here's where this part comes in amazingly. So I need that, do you mind? She knows it's her water time, that's her favorite time. Here's why, because now I can just pour in all of them rather than doing each one individually. It's kind of like mass production. And right around the time that I get this done, the kettle is boiled. I fill this about three quarters of the way. So this is a filtered water going in there. And then I take this and I fill it the rest of the way. It's gonna produce like, it looks like it's boiling, but it's obviously added to cold water. So it's gonna produce like a warm water to give them the vibe of tea. This makes the birds really love it and they get excited for it. And the great thing about this is that if there's any kind of calcium supplements or anything that you need to give your bird, a lot of African greys need calcium supplements, older birds need calcium supplements. Always best to check with your vet and make sure if you've done blood tests, just so you know. But I had always liked to put things like Avicom in their water. It was really helpful to the birds actually. It kept them all calm and it also kept my birds that were pluckers like a lot happier and calm. And then now I run around putting all of these back in the cages and then I pull all of the food out and do exactly the same thing. Check this out. If I put these bowls here, I know Jersey. And then I put this one here. See how he doesn't go to it? That's his bowl. Oh no, baby, you're getting yours now. And Jersey's really excited about her bowl, which is now green. So come with me and I'll show you how excited she is. Here's your water, baby. Do you want your water? It's in there. I'm a Vinny for you. And if you have opportunity, while that's happening, you start putting them in their cages, especially birds like Vinny. There's a million boxes over there. Like you wanna make sure that you take the opportunity to get them back. But Vinny's actually looking for his water right now. So I'm gonna go get him his water. Guys, this is what they do. They're all like trying to not go to bed. Jersey especially. Leo doesn't mind going to bed. Okay guys, so now I do all exactly what you just saw me do, except I put the bird food in their bowl, which is Marlene Signature Blend USDA Organic. And I go and do all that, and then put it all back. As you guys can imagine the procedure. And then after that, we're gonna put them all to bed. Blue, go to bed. Go to bed, Blue. Right in. Let's go to bed. I love her warm little foot. Yeah, you go see your stuff. Listen, you know all birds are different, but mine like to be covered at night, not rocky. 
is you just have to understand each bird and understand that they're not the same. And so yeah, Rocky never gets covered at night, but all my other birds get covered at night. Protects them from night fright, just gives them a nice sleep, gets them less distracted. But yeah, there's birds that like, that doesn't work for them. And it's all about you and your house and your family, you know? So yeah, some people prefer to leave a little night light on, you know, kind of like how the wilderness has the moon. Jersey's having FOMO. See, that's her, she's tired, but she doesn't want to go to bed. Hey, hey, you want to go to bed? You look so full. And then guys, after they get covered, I like to have a little something to do with them. Like, you know, like you cover them and I'm like, I come peek at them or different birds like different things. Vinny will go, give me a kiss and I'll give him a kiss. Jersey, see she does this like freaking out. She, yeah, that up and down. So I, she works well if I tell her that. And I say, all beautiful birds need to go to sleep. All beautiful birds need to go to sleep. And she tends to feel a little better and then I cover her. Hey, hey I'm gonna get you covered now, okay. Oh, Merlin's not in here. We have a loose one. Look, now Merlin loves to be out. He is literally got one foot up. He's overtired. He knows it's bedtime, but he doesn't want to go. So if I try to pick him up, he's going to be very angry. And he might be angry if I put him in the cage. We'll see. Step up, Merlin. Yes. So for the purpose of the camera and making things easy for me, I'm going to get like a little stick. Step up, Merlin. Yeah, good bird. And then he'll just go right into his cage. Just makes it easier. He's still new, you have to understand. Birds are new for a long time, you know what I mean, guys? He went right in. He is happy. So yeah, it takes a while for birds to get adjusted, so be patient. A lot of you think things are gonna happen in a day. It doesn't happen in a day. You wanna go potty? You look like you wanna go potty. That's how you potty train. You realize when they probably wanna go potty. Go potty. Good bird, good bird. And there, Brando's getting potty trained. See that? Oh, and somebody asked in the comments, do I always need help putting the birds to bed? No, absolutely not. I do this pretty much every night myself, but it's just so amazing when I do have a friend here helping me. Usually I'm like, bring me the bowls, you know? Just bring me those bowls. And then by the end, they're about this efficient right here. I don't know, I think Naora is the best with the birds. <laughs> You change Nelly and Monty, they don't go to anyone else besides me except for you. They like love you. You're so cute in that dress. Hello. And then we don't cover Rocky, but I'll feed Rocky and he is gonna stay up. He likes to watch his TV. Right, Rocky? Proud bird, yeah. And his TV's gonna show up here. He's gonna sit here. Yeah, proud bird. He's gonna sit here and watch it. Brando will come upstairs with me, right? Right, Brando? I love little birds, they just fit on my shoulder. That is our nighttime routine, we're gonna cover Pablo. All right guys, I love you so much, I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think of the ghost? I don't know, I, I think the cages look kinda creepy. What do you think, Naora? I Turn think they look fine. Light. They look fine? I think they look fine. I want you all to give a shout out to Noora in the comments. No, not unnecessary. For being such an amazing friend. Isn't she such a good friend? I'm really happy that she worked hard to move up in the ranks. Is I didn't. <laughs> guys, let me know your favorite part of this video and if you learned anything. I love you guys so much, bye. Hey guys, the Feathered Fun Box is our new subscription box of toys treats and other surprises for you and your bird so don't forget to check the link below and get in on that and guys don't forget to check out my new line of organic bird food called marlene's signature blend made with tops the link is below